A Notion of Animals, Day 1. Today you will need your eyes for reading and your listening ears. You do not have a copy of this book in your grab and go kit, so you're going to be paying attention to the PowerPoint because this is a Mayan story. Today we are reading a book from Mayan, A Notion of Animals, and after reading, you will need to identify the main idea and four key details from the story. Before we start reading, let's take a look at some vocabulary words that you're going to need to understand in order for our story today. The first word right here is bursting. We just finished the 4th of July, so bursting means to pop open or explode. Think about the fireworks that you saw when they popped open and all of the beautiful colors came out. The second word is scuttle. Scuttle means to run with very quick, short steps. The third word is overhead. Overhead means above the level of the head in the sky. Think about the fireworks again that you saw that popped over your head and you had to look up. The fourth word is clinging. Clinging means grabbing or holding on to something. And the final word is graze, to look for and slowly eat food. Let's get ready to read. Today's story is An Ocean of Animals by Janine Scott. Full of life. Boys and girls, before we go any further, this right here is called a heading and it gives us a clue about what we will be reading on this page. Full of life. Looking from shore, the ocean seems to hold just water, but it's bursting with animals. These animals live in different parts of the ocean or zones. Coastal zone. The coastal zone is where land meets water. Coastal animals often live in and out of water. Crabs scuttle on the beach. Seabirds fly overhead. Sunlight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer of the ocean. Most of the world's fish live in this zone. Small fish munch plants. Sharks eat the small fish. Coral reefs grow in the sunlight zone in shallow water. Millions of animals live on each reef. Sea anemones spend their lives clinging to one piece of coral. Mammals live in the sunlight zone too. Manatees graze on seagrass. Sea otters dive and play in seaweed. Giant blue whales swim in the open ocean. Twilight Zone. The twilight zone starts about 660 feet or 200 meters deep. It gets very little sunlight. The dragonfish has lights on its body to lure prey to it. Lure right here, boys and girls, means to attract. They have the lights so that fish will swim up to them so they can eat them. Dark zone. The dark zone starts at about 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters deep. It is very dark and very cold. Two worms cluster around thermal vents to stay warm. Unknown life. More than half of Earth is covered in very deep water. Very little has been explored. Who knows what animals scientists will find in the future? Here are some fun facts. If a sea star's arm breaks off, it can grow another one. Animals like seals, beluga whales, and walruses live in the cold waters near the North and South Poles. They all have a thick layer of fat called blubber 
to keep them warm. The whale shark is the world's largest shark. It gets about 45 feet or 14 meters long. Sea otters eat shellfish such as clams. They smash the shells open by hitting them against a rock. To scare away predators, the porcupine fish sucks in water. Its body fills up to appear twice its normal size. Its spines pop out too. Let's talk about today's task. Today you are going to revisit the story. You are going to complete the graphic organizer. Identify the main idea and write it in the center of your graphic organizer. Think about what was the big idea of the story and what did the author want us to learn or know about? You're gonna write that over here in this box where it says main idea. In the four boxes, write down four key details that you learn. Make sure to use complete sentences. Your key details are going to go here, 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 and here. If you're using a piece of paper, then you can just list them one, two, three, four. If you'd like to draw a picture, you're welcome to do that as well. Once you're finished completing your graphic organizer, you're gonna send it in a message to your teacher. And then very important down here, don't forget to log into iReady Reading for at least 15 minutes today when you finish this task.